Greetings fellow civil engineer. Today we're going to be going over tips to pass the geotechnical section of the civil PE exam. Let's get right into it. Tip number one, know your references. So NCES lists ASC 7 and the OSHA manual as required references. You should take the time to tab these two books. However, I'm told by geotechnical engineers that unlike the structural depth section, only a handful of questions in the geotechnical exam will reference these two books. Fortunately, these manuals are available online in PDF format. I happen to have both of them, and if you ask me nicely, I will hook you up. Mind you, these two books are the bare minimum for what you need to bring, which brings me to tip number two. Bring additional references uh, to the exam. As you probably know, you can bring as many books as you want for the exam. At a bare minimum, I would recommend bringing textbooks for geotechnical engineering and foundation design. You should also bring this book, the Geotechnical Engineer's Portable Handbook, because it has a lot of uh, concise explanations for geotechnical engineering concepts. Tab and highlight the most relevant sections in these books as you study and do practice problems. And that way you'll have a better idea of which sections ought to be tabbed and which formulas have to be highlighted. Tip number three, use the exam specifications as your setting checklist. The specification sheet, this document gives you a precise breakdown of what to expect on the exam. When you're studying, use this thing as a checklist for what topics to go over. If there's a topic that isn't addressed in the references you're studying, it's a good sign you should purchase or download another textbook. You should have tabbed and highlighted sections corresponding to each topic listed in the exam specifications. So I'd encourage you to use post-it tabs like these and an ultra-fine Sharpie like this one uh, when making your tabs. And tip number four, be prepared for conceptual questions. The geotechnical depth section is not all plug and chug quantitative questions. Up to half of all the problems on there will test your knowledge of engineering theory. If you're getting by simply by memorizing equations, your chances of passing this exam are nil. Conceptual questions are a two-edged sword. If you don't know the concept they're describing, you'll waste time rifling through your books looking for some kind of explanation. However, if you know your stuff, you'll see the right answer right away. And this is where I would recommend using Day's Geotechnical Engineering Portable Handbook. As, as I stated earlier, there's a lot of good explanations in here for multiple geotechnical concepts. And that's all I have for today. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop me a line. And that's all for now. Good luck.